This video is to walk you through some of the resources that you will use to do your paper in this class. And they are all on a library page for you so that you can come to one place and find them. To get to that library page, you can click the link inside your class or you can just go to library.hodges.edu slash ECO2032. So in your syllabus, there are some resources that are listed, and those are linked here. In addition, there are some other resources that you'll find useful. They are split between national and global indicators and local indicators, although you'll know that many of these national and global links, you can also look up Florida or the county or the city that you are going to be doing um, your paper on that you're looking for information about. So I'm not going to show every single one, but I do want to highlight a few. The first one being the conference board. The conference board is like one of the most important um, research um, institutions that works in economics and they do economic research and when you um, look at what they have, what they put forth are what they call their version of indicators. Now you are give some examples in your syllabus and in your book about what indicators um, are and they have their own sort of mix of indicators. So for example in the United States here um, as of the end of January in their mix of indicators are up 0.5% and you can see the other countries here. And of course you can come down and you can see there's some information that they linked and if you keep going down you'll see some specific monthly reports. So for example for January this would be the most recent one for the United States and you'll see that they have sort of a summary and then they have some statistics and graphs to show you what they're talking about. They look at their leading economic indicators, um, they have employment, they have energy prices, they have a lot of different things and first of all it's good because it gives you a big picture of the US economy but secondly it also gives you some ideas about what you might want to be looking for for your paper. So the second thing I wanted to look at was the very last one. Now you can go into each of these, Wall Street Journal, the BEA, Bureau of Labor Statistics Census. All of these are going to have different pieces of information that would be for the economic indicators. The reason I like this Federal Reserve one is because it puts a whole bunch of those all in one location. So for example, Consumer Price Index, GDP, um, treasury rate, the U.S. versus the Euro, unemployment, um, claim, job, jobless claims, all of those are, are different um, numbers that economists look at. You can see here other, other things that, that are re similar to those with, with the accompanying graph. Now this is going to be for the whole United States. If you come up to um, some of these other things here. You can make your own graphs, your own maps, you can view um, old, old information, you can get you know all kinds of stuff. So you just want to check it out and and again it, you know depending on what your specific question is you're looking at will depend on which indicators you want to do. Um, much better to pick a few important or relevant indicators as opposed to throwing a whole bunch of things at the wall and seeing what sticks. So um, you know, create your own graph. You know, what data do you want? You know, you can say, for example, employment. You know, so you know, here's total unemployment. And now it's gonna make a graph. So that's pretty cool, right? Anyway, um, you can do things. You could see, you could share or export the graph, cite the graph. Um, you can see here that this is um, showing you the different time and everything. So you could get one year, five year, whatever it is you want. You can you can adjust that. 
you can save it, etc. So I think that's pretty useful. Um, under the local, the Bureau of Economic and Business Research, that's from the University of Florida. And there, most of their information is now available for free on their website. So here, for example, some indicators that they have listed, and a lot of these for the end of January. So Florida government, home sales, um, Federal Reserve leading indicator index, which is a little different than the conference board, building permits, like how much new building, economic analysis, population studies. So population studies, if I go there, I can see research reports, for example, on some different things, or I could get the population data um, for, here's 2014, so I could open that up and I would have it by county. Um, if I go back here and I come up to the top, under data they have the Florida Statistical Abstract online, which is a really great tool. So I can do a couple of different things. So one of the things I can get is a county summary. I love the county summary because it's very, very concise, but it has a lot of information. So here's Collier County. I could also look at something specific, but I'm going to do the summary just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so population, birth rate, death rate, net migration, population density, and then here's the graphs. Employment, but so this is actually unemployment, population, income, and then if I look at any of these others, you could get the gasoline tax, um, sales of number of housing units, um, all these different things, number of voters. Again, you don't need every single piece of information here, but some of it may be what you're looking for. Oh, sorry, wrong page. So then um, several other things on here, but I wanted to highlight this um, FGCU Regional Economic Institute because it's focused on Southwest Florida. So if I go there, um, there's lots of information here, so you're going to have to sort of look around to see. Um, some of it might work if you're looking at Lee County. Here's the Business Climate Survey, but if you keep scrolling down, this is what I wanted to point out was the Regional Economic Indicators for January. So this is going to be specific to Collier and Lee County, Southwest Florida. So you can see we have airport passenger activity, tourist tax revenues, single family building permits, taxable sales, workforce, sales of existing homes and medium prices, consumer sentiment index, consumer price index, population. And the reason I like to show this um, specifically is because if you look at this report, this is very similar to how you should be putting your port report together. So for example, we have a regional and national background, and you'll remember that you're supposed to put background in your paper as well as an introduction. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are charts followed by text. So whatever indicators you pick that you want to focus on, you should have a chart, and then your text should describe. And it says here, this is it's, it's very straightforward. As shown in the following chart, the unemployment rate has continued to decline. For 2014, the range for unemployment rate is 5.7 to 5.8%. And then it goes on to talk about the projection or the forecast. So if you have that, you could you could could explain that. And and it's not making any judgments or, or interpreting. It's just saying the chart shows the the numbers look like this. The chart shows that the numbers will probably do that and so on. Um, and, and you could see, here's, here's more, now there's the airport, tourist, tax, um, coastal, you know, so just keep going on and you'll, and you'll see that, that basically, now in a couple of cases they do explain like why taxable sales data is an important component um, of, you know, so that's like why are we looking at the sales tax? So that might be useful to have too. But I just want to show this is a really good example of how you might look at your own paper. Um, I'll let you guys look through those other links on your own. Um, the, the two I wanted to point out, they're on the side. 
are the Statista and the Merger First Research. These are library resources. Some of these in the middle are too, but these are a little bit different because they contain different kinds of information. Statista has information, statistics, numbers about all kinds of things. So for example, I could do in Statista United States, spell it correctly, economic indicators, which I spelled wrong. <laughs> I just said to myself, spell it correctly, and I spelled it wrong. All right, so you can see here that this computer cannot correct my spelling. All right, so here are some charts from different things, gross domestic product, inflation, purchase managers index, that's a different indicator, um, annual growth, um, disposable income change, you know, each of these is a different graph. So, for example, disposable income, where was that? Right here. Okay, so I could download it, I can do different, print it out, I can do different things, and, and again, it's got um, the information, it's got the suggested citation, and I, I'm, you can look up all kinds of things. You could even look up different or um, industries and things like that in, in this. You could do transit analysis. You can do lots of different terms and, and get graphs and information that you can use. Um, and you can see here's a related employment, inflation, labor price, and unemployment again. So those are things that you might also find helpful. So I just point out the statista if you find the um, others are a little difficult to follow, you might find this it's just a little easier to use. Then the Merge at First Research is actually industry information. Um, this is not as relevant if you are doing um, just, you know, what is the business climate in Lee or Collier County, but if you're doing something about a specific industry, then if you come here and you type in whatever it is in the box, it's going to give you information about things to consider that are related to that industry. So for example, residential real estate development perhaps is something that, that somebody might do because it's something that a lot of things happen around um, Collier and Lee County for that. So if I open that up, now this is, is information that, that you could look at. For example, demand depends on population growth, local economic conditions. So population growth and local economic conditions would be some of the indicators. If you scroll down, they also list specific indicators. Um, bank loan rate, personal income, the value of spending um, are also things to look at. And then they've even got some issues, challenges, and trends that you can look at, opportunities that you could, again, these are general talking about that industry, but you could use that to help you decide which things to look for in your specific project. Okay, so the last thing I want to point out is the APA style. I put a link here, although you can also get to it from the library page. This is the main manual that you'll use for your APA. This template is excellent. If you open it up, it's already formatted to make your APA paper. And then the last thing I wanted to show are these um, PowerPoints, because the one PowerPoint talks about making tables and figures. So if you're going to have graphs or charts in your paper, and you should, then you should look at this PowerPoint. That is going to help you figure out um, what you need to do. And then the very last thing, and I'm um, really quickly, if you need help, the Ask a Library inbox here. You can chat, text, or email the library. You can even give us a phone call during regular business hours. So if you are stuck, if you can't find something, you have a question, please re reach out to us and let us know. Thank you for listening.